the most mysterious substance in the universe. Little is known about it. Scientists are pretty sure it exists, but still don't know what it is. Have you ever pondered the beginnings of the universe? It's a query that has intrigued humanity for centuries. What if it were shared that the conventional notion of the universe arising from nothing might not be entirely precise? In this episode, we'll delve into an exploration to unveil the reality behind this perplexing phenomenon. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Have you ever doubted the idea of the universe originating from nothing? What, in your opinion, constitutes the essence of the universe's origin? 1. Is the concept of nothingness valid? Ancient Western philosophers contemplated the concept of nothing, with Parmenides asserting that nothing cannot exist. According to him, for something to be spoken of, it must exist. His reasoning led to the conclusion that there is no such thing as change and nothing can come into being, pass out of being, or not exist. While this perspective was accepted by philosophers like Socrates and Plato, Aristotle had a different view. In modern times, Albert Einstein's space-time concept aligns with Parmenides' ideas, challenging the distinction between past, present, and future. Various physicists perceive nothing differently, ranging from a classical vacuum to the idea of nothing as undifferentiated potential. Even if all particles were removed from a box and shielded against electric and magnetic fields, gravity would persist. Newton's physics explains gravity as a force, but in general relativity, space and time are gravity. Imagine removing gravity and everything from a system. You would be left with a true vacuum, yet quantum fluctuations persist. Quantum mechanics introduces confusing concepts, such as particles behaving as waves and the simultaneous existence of alive and dead cats. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle adds further complexity, stating that the precise measurement of a subatomic particle's location and movement or energy is impossible. This principle implies a minimum level of uncertainty in the universe, even in empty space. So when considering the question of whether nothing truly exists, the answer is elusive. Even if all matter and energy were removed from a space, there would still be some level of uncertainty due to quantum fluctuations, where particles and antiparticles spontaneously appear and disappear in empty space. In essence, it's challenging to assert that absolute nothingness exists. Perhaps it's more accurate to perceive nothing as the absence of space and time, rather than envisioning space and time devoid of anything. 2. The Beginning At the Genesis, there occurred a cosmic explosion, widely accepted by the majority of scientists as the commencement of the universe. This initiation is believed to have originated from a condition of extraordinary compression an exceptionally high temperature, where fundamental forces like gravity and electromagnetism coalesced into a singular, all-encompassing force known as a singularity. However, for much of the century, scientists grappled with this concept, questioning whether the original state was chaotic and if the universe with its galaxies is as uniform as it appears. The precarious balance between infinite expansion and self-collapse as well as the fine line between being conducive to life and entirely inhospitable, posed intriguing questions about the universe. Recent advancements in answering these questions have been driven by physicists' heightened understanding of the interconnectedness between the largest and smallest elements in the universe. This collaborative effort between astrophysicists and particle physicists is enabling the integration of the realms of stars and galaxies with the world of subatomic particles and waves. Many features of the present universe start to make sense when considering the possibility of an extraordinary early expansion in space, as proposed by inflation theory. According to this theory, the universe underwent a significant expansion a fraction of a second after the Big Bang driven by substantial quantities of energy inherent in space itself. Following this inflationary period, the universe continued to expand and cool, albeit at a much slower pace. The universe then transitioned through several epochs or eras, each characterized by distinct physical conditions and dominant forces. The initial epoch, 
known as the Planck era, lasted from 0 to 10 to the power of minus 43 seconds after the Big Bang. During this phase, the universe was incredibly hot and dense, with electromagnetism, gravity, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force all unified. Subsequently, the universe entered the grand unified epoch, spanning from 10 to the power of minus 43 seconds to 10 to the power of minus 36 seconds after the Big Bang, during which the strong nuclear force separated from the other three fundamental forces, leading to the formation of quarks and other subatomic particles. Following this, the universe entered the electroweak epoch, lasting from 10 to the power of minus 36 seconds to 10 to the power of minus 12 seconds after the Big Bang. In this epoch, the universe continued its expansion and cooling phase, with gravity starting to pull matter together, giving rise to the formation of the first galaxies and stars. However, contemplating the possibility of reconciling the ideas of an eternal universe with the concept of the Big Bang raises intriguing questions. Can we, in essence, have both an enduring cosmic existence and acknowledge the explosive birth of our universe? As the universe progresses towards increased disorder, structures will decay, stars will reach the end of their life cycles, and even black holes will undergo evaporation. The escalating entropy of the universe is expected to culminate in the heat-death scenario, leaving behind a cosmos dominated by cold, dark space, occasionally traversed by lone photons, perpetually voyaging into the void. Physicist Roger Penrose introduces the notion that the universe might have an infinite cyclic history, wherein each cycle initiates with a big bang and concludes with a big crunch. In this theoretical framework known as conformal cyclic cosmology, the universe is perceived as possessing conformal geometry, meaning that the spatial-temporal structure remains invariant even when scaled. This allows for an eternal state of self-replication, where each cycle mirrors its predecessor. Conformal cyclic cosmology proposes that our universe is part of an infinite lineage of universes, with our cosmos destined to become the precursor for the subsequent one in the chain. Contrary to the conventional belief that the Big Bang marks the inception of the universe, this model posits it as a transitional point from one cycle to the next. In this infinite and eternal state of self-replication, the concept of absolute nothingness becomes unnecessary for the universe's existence. Instead, the universe can be envisioned as a self-contained entity, perpetually cycling through phases of expansion and contraction. One notable and testable prediction of this model is the potential observation of remnants from dying black holes in the previous universe. The radiation left over from the evaporation of supermassive black holes might traverse the boundary from the end of one universe into the next. This prediction raises the prospect of detecting temperature fluctuations when observing the radiation in the sky, providing empirical support for the conformal cyclic cosmology. Three. The only theory, modern physics is based on ideas from Einstein about how things work on both really big and really small scales. There's a challenge because these ideas seem to conflict. For example, one says there can be black holes where gravity is super strong and even light can't escape. But the other says information can't be destroyed, creating a problem when things seem to disappear into a black hole. Scientists made an equation called the Wheeler-DeWitt equation to try and solve this problem. It treats the universe like a wave function, figuring out the chance of finding the universe in a certain state at a certain time. The interesting thing is that it removes time treating the universe as if it doesn't change over time. But even though it's important, this equation doesn't explain everything about the universe, especially how it changes over time. Understanding and proving its ideas experimentally is also tough. There's another idea called string theory that thinks of the basic parts of reality as tiny strings vibrating in a ten-dimensional space. As we wonder about big questions like what space and time and where the universe came from, some theories suggest space is like a phoenix, always coming back to life, or time repeats in an endless loop of universes. On the other hand, maybe this universe is the only one, starting hot and ending cold and dark. 
Until we figure out more about the universe, we have to accept that there's a lot we don't know.